hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel coding with praveen so in this video tutorial i'm going to show you how to read a text file using a, a php language so we know that we when we are working with the data uh, one option is you can have a, a text file or else you can have a, a database management system running in your uh, project you can save and retrieve update delete so those tasks can be done using the uh, database management system so otherwise what you can do is you can keep it some text data raw material data in a text document and then retrieve them or you can add some data into the uh, text file or remove it so likewise you can do some uh, operations so uh, with this example what i'm going to show you is how to read a file right so we are going to have some data in the text file and that text file going to be read by the uh, php so we need some php functions so this is very straightforward work so you don't need to uh, do all this from your uh, end so you, there are pre-built uh, functions available in PHP so you can see I have already uh, set up a PHP file called read-file.php and also I'm having a uh, file a text file called data.txt and in here I have mentioned in the content uh, in a comment section like what are the functions we need so if I just brief about these functions the first one is file open so uh, one quick thing that you can remember is file related functions all are starting with the letter F so the first one is F open or file open then file size F read or file read or F close or file close so you will understand why the term file open and file close so that means like we are uh, interacting with the file and do our work and finally we close the uh, file connection so that means uh, this will be coming at the beginning and this will be coming at the end of the uh, code base and using the file size what you can do is you can collect the actual um, binary file size of your text uh, document and finally to read the content in there that means which is we are going to read line by line text by text character by character using the f read so first i will uh, start with the coding so the first we have to uh, do is we should have a, a path for our data dot txt file so we'll say i uh, create a variable call file name and for that i will provide the path for the data uh, .txt file so in my case you can see the data .txt file and the read file .php file both are lives in the same location so then I can simply uh, provide the file name so the file will be attached into the variable so I did a mistake here so I need to start with the PHP block right so then I have the file link or the path for a variable and then what I do is I am going to open this file so I can use the F open and for that I need to uh, provide the path which is already mentioned in the file name uh, variable and then I should mention what is the procedure I want to open this so we know that the file can be open in the read only mode or read and write only mode or only the uh, write mode so likewise there are different modes available so in our in this scenario what you do is we'll be uh, going with the read only mode so that's mean we are not going to add anything into the file we'll just uh, capture the data available in this file so uh, the file open ex uh, instance I'm going to place into another variable because I need this instance repeatedly in other uh, functions 
so I'll put a small validation here just to check whether uh, the file got opened or not so if the file uh, is false so I can simply take the uh, file instance and check whether it is equal to uh, false so if that's so I can simply uh, put an error message saying um, we'll say we have an error in opening the file right so like this so if not that means we are good to uh, start the reading this file so if you have if you want to read this file then what you need to do is we need to use the file read but the file read uh, cannot do the full task for that there are some ingredients or inputs we should provide so the file read will need the file size so based on the file size that will go into loop through the uh, content of this file and then capture the data so before we do the file reading the next step is we need to uh, come up with the uh, getting the file size so I'll create another one called size file size and then I'll use the uh, function that is file size so for that I will provide the uh, instance that we have that is the uh, file name so once this code execute we should be able to get the size of the file and in the next step the final step what we are going to do is we are going to read the file so I can simply use the file open if open so I will get a, a variable to hold this value so we'll say this is file text and then we can say if, if read and then I want to provide the uh, file path and the uh, file size so then what I do is I'll uh, yeah I want to give the file open instance so that is file variable and the file size right so then yeah I did the mistake if I L E so so this is the one so file here we do the file opening so that instance will hold in the file variable so we need to uh, provide that and the file size file size is available in this variable so now we have the read file the final read uh, text uh, put it in this variable so I can simply uh, do a echo uh, we'll say that file information that will be file text so initially we had the heading only so I have put the h1 tag here so I'll reload this so you can see I'm getting a result so this is the data which was in this uh, data.txt file right so I just put the code wrapper so we'll say I have some more information about the uh, login details username and I save this and reload so you can see all those information were captured and uh, printed into the browser So we need to get use of these functions so that will be help you to uh, read a text document and pop up the uh, or read the files 
read the content of the file and then show it into the browser so finally once it done that so I can uh, do the file close right so I can say uh, F close and that is dollar file name so we did the open and then we close it right so I hope you understood how to read a text file uh, so this is the very basic thing that you should know when you are working with the uh, text files uh, so the next step what you can do is we can add some data into the file or you say modify the uh, file or you may want to delete some file uh, content from the file so for that we'll need some more functions but this will be something base that you need to do because most of the time you want to read it read the content uh, in that t uh, text document right so I hope you uh, got some idea how to do it um, so then we'll uh, meet on the uh, next video about how to do some more uh, work with the uh, file reading and file editing okay so thank you all thank you for watching and if you have any doubts if you have any issues so you can just comment on uh, my youtube channel and i will uh, support you then and there so uh, hope you will have a good time and uh, safe also thank you all